Hey, Shalom on Makiyam. Uh, first off, I just want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Rakah Kodash. Want to just get double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom on peace and blessings to the brothers out there pushing the word in sincerity and truth. And for the few sisters that watch and believe, Shalom on to you as well. Uh, all through the spirit, you know, I ain't going to go too long. This is just going to be a quick and transit show. Uh, I'm actually in my car right now just leaving the, the 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 plantation so the spirit just jumped on me just to do a quick you know uh quick in transit uh, video uh, i was reading uh proverbs the 13th chapter and i caught a verse or a verse jumped out to me that i just wanted to share and just uh speak on while i while i travel i'm gonna read it real quick here while i'm at this light this is proverbs chapter 13 verse 11 it says uh, wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished, but he that gathereth by labor shall increase. So I know a lot of times brothers feel a certain type of way. We feel like Asaph, you know what I'm saying? When we see the prosperity, we get envious at the prosperity of the wicked man. You see the wicked prospering people who don't have no fear, no regard or concern for the heavenly father or his son. It seemed like they just skating by on this side, man. But I just read here in Proverbs 13 and 11 that wealth gotten by vanity, by emptiness, shall be diminished. And we know that the so-called white man, uh, Esau, or the nation of Edom, according to the Bible, man, all the wealth that they've accumulated over the last few hundred years, man, have been through rape, robbery, murder, deceit. You know what I'm saying? All of these things are vanity. You know what I'm saying? All of these Edomites that have uh, wealth today, man, they haven't uh, uh, earned that wealth uh, by, by laboring, man. Because, for example, you know what I'm saying, the so-called Negroes that was bought here over here on cargo slave ships, man, that's who provided that labor, that free labor to build up this country to where they these, these proud devils can enjoy these riches today. You see? I'm going to just read this verse again and just continue to break it down. This is Proverbs 13 and 11. Wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished, but he that gathereth by labor shall increase. And this whole American system, man, that these Edomites are, are, are in rulership of, man, is diminishing right now. Because it was gotten by, by vanity, by deceit, by lies, man, by wickedness. So we're seeing... You know what I'm saying? The the Edomite rulership diminishing right now. And that's why it's 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 it's, it's a joyous time, man, that we're living in for brothers in this faith, man, in this knowledge. Because we know that the end of Esau's rulership, that's the beginning of the establishment of the kingdom of heaven, man, a kingdom of righteousness, man. You know, like it tells you in uh second Ezra the sixth chapter. You see? And it says also in Wisdom of Chapter uh, or Salakia, Wisdom of Solomon Chapter Five, they you know what I'm saying that hey man they gon they gon they gon uh, basically uh, hold on I gotta get it because I don't want to misquote that actually so Salakia just bear with me brothers try to find this precept while I'm moving yes yeah, wisdom of chapter uh, wisdom of Solomon 5 that's what I was trying to quote but I gotta actually just get it because I didn't want to misquote that scripture just to back up what I just read in Proverbs the 13th chapter this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. It says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labor. So uh, I was trying to make a point, you know what I'm saying, that wealth gotten by vanity, that's going to be diminished. Meaning all this wealth, this whole uh, power structure, this whole rulership that these Edomites have set up in wickedness, man, that's going to diminish. But it says, but those... That labor, 
that that's that, those are the ones who are going to get the increase and that's talking about the Lord selecting right now you know what I'm saying people don't make no account of the labors you know what I'm saying of the men of the Lord mainly when you know uh, brothers start with our apostles and the elders and the men on down the order when they go out you know what I'm saying consistently on the highways and the byways preaching his word putting up these shows edifying you know what I'm saying that's all labor that's a labor of love but no one's making no account of our labors right now you know what i'm saying because in, in in most of these people's uh a small mind they like hey man where's the promise of his coming y'all talking about all of these prophecies all of this doom and gloom and calamities that's gonna come but when is it gonna come like it tells you in second peter the third chapter you know what i'm saying since the fathers fell asleep all things must continue as they were from the beginning man so even during the time of noah man you had the world at that time they were proud as hell man lifted up in folly and they didn't make any account of the labors that noah was putting in building the ark until that rain started to come down then everybody considered and that's gonna be the time that we're living into now man when all of this judgment when all of this hell this pestilence all of the famine when the dollar collapsed man people gonna they gonna they gonna make an account of, of the labor that the men of the Lord, you know, start with this preaching and the speaking of the words and the prophecies, man. That's going to be made manifest in these people's conscience, man. When all hell starts to break loose. But for hope for, for the laboring men that's been in this faith, man. Grinding, man. Forsaking things in this world to, 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 to do this work, man. To add to the ministry. We're going to increase in strength during that time. The scriptures tells you. Isaiah 33 and 6 Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times And strength of thy salvation You know what I'm saying And also I believe in uh, Hebrews the 4th chapter It says that we have to labor to enter into that rest Meaning enter into a kingdom Where we're going to actually have health Or wealth, health Righteousness Dominion, rulership You know what I'm saying We're going to have our, 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 our land back you know what I'm saying? We're going to have the law, statutes, and commandments on our inward parts. So that's the time we're looking forward to, man. So it's beautiful, the times that we're in, man. It's a beautiful time that we're in, man, for brothers that's laboring, taking L's on this side for this word, man. It's a beautiful time that we're in because this whole system that's been set up by our enemy, man, is diminishing. You know what I'm saying? And at the same time, the men of the Lord, man, that, that righteous standard is being lifted up. So that should uh, galvanize brothers that's in this truth, man, in this thing of ours to, to grind even harder, man, to push these prophecies, man, to meditate day and night on the things that were bestowed to us, man, through the Heavenly Father and, and His Son, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, you know? So with that being said, like I said, I wasn't going to go too long. I just got in the car and I was like, man, I'm just going to go ahead and just speak on that scripture that i read in proverbs the 13th chapter man how you know what i'm saying the wealth that was gained by vanity man is going to diminish and we know that america as we know it is circling the drain man all of these different nations you know what i'm saying they're trying to uh, set up moves to get away from the petrol dollar so i, I know it's going to take time before you know we we see the direct impact of some of these power moves by these different nations man but we pray to the Lord to hasten to hasten everything to make it come that much more quicker. So with all being said, uh, I just want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, peace and blessings to you, sincere Akim. Keep pushing this word in sincerity and truth. Shalom.